Hello everyone, welcome to Data in Nutshell. Today we are going to talk about how to automate Google Docs with the help of Google Sheet. And we are also going to replicate the Google Doc template and we are going to replace the numbers in the Google Doc as per the recipient's numbers, right? So this is a template, a sample template in which this is my detail, the sender's detail. These three are recipient detail. This is also a recipient data. X1, X2 is also recipient data and this is my information. So this is a sample template and this Google Doc is stored in my Google Drive in a folder named trial. So I'll just delete it. Okay, so this is the letter template and this is the uh, basically the standard template which we are going to send to our clients and i have a google sheet as well in which i have mentioned uh, all the details for example the sender details in this area and row five six seven and the recipients the receivers details after row 12 supplier name supplier address state city code x1 and x2 so i showed you that x1 and x2 are the values in the letter right so that is why it is mentioned as x1 and x2 so let's go and understand the code first and then we are going to execute it. So I'm going to click on extensions and app script. In extended file code, we have created a main function here. This is the main function which is basically editing the Google Doc, creating a copy of the letter template and saving it in my Google Drive which is named as trial. This is my folder named trial. So as you can see that the first variable is I'm calling spreadsheet app and getting the active document, active document of Google Sheet, right? I'm getting the Google Sheet here. Then I am asking for the master tab, get sheet by name as master. This is a master tab. That's why we have written master here. Then after that, I am getting drive folder name, which I have mentioned in the Google Sheet in B2 cell in master tab. So in master tab, this is the master tab and in cell B2, B2, I have mentioned as trial because my Google Drive folder name is trial, right? You can replace this when you are going to customize it as per your need. Then I am getting here as Google ID. Google ID means the ID of the Google, uh, Google Doc template, right? The templates ID. It will be basically in the URL in the URL after D slash and before slash edit alpha numeric the alpha numeric value will be the doc ID right so for example this is my URL I'm just pasting it here so this is this is my URL so my doc ID will be D slash from d slash like after d slash and before slash edit this will be my doc id right and i have pasted that id in b3 in master tab so in the master tab in b3 i have pasted the doc id once it is done now i am creating a temporary doc variable in which i am calling google drive and i am saying get that doc id in here and get the file by id so at the back end with the help of google uh, with the help of drive app uh, this letter this template data will be stored in temp doc i i can call the template with the help of temp temp doc variable and i have saved the trial folder name in this uh, variable which is folder right and i have created a variable as of list and basically i'm calling cell a1 value cell a1 is this the number of recipients the count of recipients right for which we have to send the emails i'll just hide it here okay now we have a for loop just remember whenever this for loop will run it will create a copy of the letter in the same drive in the trial drive and also will replace all the values which i want as per this for example for the first loop it will replace all the values based on row 14 and the supplier name will be uh, SUP1, right? Similarly for supplier 2, supplier 3. 
so in this uh, we have created a variable copy where we are calling temdoc in which we have saved the letter template and we are making a copy of it and this is basically the name with which the copy should be created right the doc copy so this is basically a for, for example if i is zero then it will be a14 in master tab in master tab a14 is this supplier one so the name of the document will also be supplier one right and after that we are saying go and call google drive app get the folder by name then the folder is this and in this we have the text uh, trial so that so what we are uh, so what we are saying here is make a copy of this standard template with the name this and save it in this drive in this folder okay then we have created a get copy id so what we are doing here is the new copy which created in this right in this line we are taking the id of that document so that we can access that and we can replace the values and the next lines are basically basically uh, these are the lines which are actually replacing the text in the copy of the letter template so why why we have written 0 1 2 3 4 here is we have created a function update and that function is defined here okay you can you use it as it is so what this function is doing this function is asking me what is the paragraph number in which i have to change what is the document id right then what current text i have to search so that i can replace with this text what to update so in which paragraph in which document id which text i have to check and with after checking that what to update these are the four entries or you can say the input fields we have created in this function which we are going to give it here right so zero is the zeroth line so zero in in google doc whenever you start calculating the number of uh, paragraphs so it starts from zero so this is your name is in zeroth line or paragraph then it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and so on right so in this function we are giving four inputs at what line number we have to make the edit in which id document id which we want to uh, basically edit in then the text we are looking for and the text which we want to replace with so this text is coming from master tab from a7 b7 c7 d e and so on so you can see we have a7 b7 c7 d7 e7 this is sender's detail and then and in these lines we are updating suppliers details so that's why it is a14 plus 1 b14 plus 1 and so on so it will it will get data from a14 then 15 16 17 and accordingly the columns are also getting changed and if i talk about what this function do does so this function is basically uh, taking this document id and storing it in a variable then we have created a document uh, doc variable in which we are calling document app uh, basically open the doc uh, google document with the help of that document id then we are saying we create a create a paragraph variable and then take that doc information get that uh, like basically in this variable we have the complete we have the complete information of that document so with the help of this variable we are saying get the body of that doc then get all the paragraphs of that doc and then we are entering a paragraph number here so these paragraphs is in a list so that's why we are calling it with the help of array system 0 1 2 3 4 and so on once you get the first paragraph for example this is zero so we are getting the body of the first the zeroth paragraph and then we are converting it into text and then with with a new variable and with replace function we are searching for existing variable this for example your name in this it is your name 
right this will be uh, the the your name text will be entered in this uh, statement here and what to update will be this fourth item fourth item is this so your name will be replaced with the value which is present in cell a1 cell a7 which is this so this is how uh, with the help of this these two functions you can uh, you can basically uh, make copies of a letter template and replace all the values based on a list of recipients and sender details let's run it and see what happens so i'll go here i'll click on run and we will move to trial tab just to see whether the copies are getting created or not and in some time it will create three copies of the letter template with all the informations uploaded in it so these three copies are created and if i go and click here let's compare these two so you can see the name is supplier one supplier one supplier one supplier one and you can see the numbers are also updated here right two months 2100 and if you see 2100 and two months similarly the name is also changed so all the values are the values are changed as per the code so if i go and check supplier 3 document the same has been updated just remember one thing if you have a fixed template in a as a document right and you want to uh, you want to change information for various recipients this script is for you you can customize it as per your need and let me know if you want a custom uh, script for your particular business setup let me know feel free to comment me i'll definitely going to help. thanks for watching my video stay tuned